Hey guys, welcome back to the Hey Charlie cooking channel. Today I'm going to be making my fabulous summertime broccoli salad. And over here as you can see I have some broccoli florets. I'll be dicing those up. I have some shredded cheese. Now this is optional. You can take the block cheese from your grocer and just um, dice it up for the sake of time. I just decided to just throw some in the bowl. Um, I'm going to actually be adding lots of flavors. So I have a mango. I have my lemon, my lime, tomatoes, which I'll be breaking those down for you soon. I have cran raisins, just regular grapes, sliced slivered almonds, walnuts, I have, and this is optional, some people don't like onions, I do red onions and green scallions. And then also, um, this is also optional, goat cheese. It smells horrible, but it does enhance the flavor for what we're about to do today. So, uh, you guys can find that, this is optional if you like. And then also I have my, um, man eggs and I didn't go with Miracle Whip because I want to be able to control the sweetness and I'll be adding some brown sugar to it later and then also I have some great, great seed oil uh, you can also use a little olive oil so I'm going to use this as my base and then I always like to use a little bit of orange juice um, for the citrus uh, taste as well so that'll be a nice blend with my lemon and my lime Last but not least, I just added about a oh, quarter of a cup of unpacked, so do not pack it. I just unpack the sugar. This is brown sugar. Um, it's up to you if you prefer to use regular sugar, that's fine, but I like brown sugar because it's less bleaching going on in it. So it's a little bit healthier, I guess, between the two. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started. First, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my broccoli florets. So you just want to be able to cut the ends of these off, just like that. And depend on how you like to eat yours. I don't like all that stock, so I like to take most of this off. We're going to be blanching it. Blanching means it all sit in some water for a few minutes. Kind of let uh, the steam get to it and take some of the hardness out. So I'm just going to go right up to the top this off. Get right up to the top. So this makes for a nice little summer salad when you have friends over and you guys are always eating the same old thing. Potato salad, baked beans, macaroni salad. This is nice and healthy because God only knows we have been going through some COVID times. Everybody's had some COVID challenges. Um, so this is just a nice little healthy salad and I thought you guys might enjoy. So I'm gonna put these in here so that I can transfer them over. Next, I'm going to be adding my broccoli into my water. I'm just gonna let this blanch for just a little bit. And you only want to leave this on here for about a few minutes, literally. We don't want it to taste like broccoli cheddar cheese soup. This is going to be a salad. So you just want it to blanch. Blanch meaning it's just going to submerge in the water for a few minutes. You still want it to have the green vibrant color. So we'll give that a few minutes. Alright you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and take this broccoli out because it has blanched enough. Make sure all the water is off of there. You can just probably take it out with a strainer. And I'll be preparing more healthy um, salads like this for the summertime because we're all trying to get back in the gym and get fab. Okay, so now that we have that going to let that cool down just a little bit. Um, next I'm going to get ready to start on my juice. Fresh lemon. Give it a good old squeeze. 
I like, like the industrial. This is pretty, but this one works better for me. Okay, enough of that. Let's set that over to the side. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of the mail. And I would say, um, I tell y'all what, I'm going to measure for y'all today. Because I know some of y'all like, well, how much is it? So you guys know that this is a quarter cup of unpacked. I'll put that in there. And then next I'll go ahead and add in about uh, that's about a half a cup. So I'm gonna add a half a cup of mayo. And again, I didn't you can use miracle whip. Miracle whip is already sweet, but you gotta back it out with your citrus to make sure that it the flavor is even. oil. So this will be about a third cup of oil. So this is our dressing. So that's what I'm preparing right now. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. A little bit of fresh cracked pepper. And we're going to whisk this up a little bit. Actually, I'm going to transfer and don't forget, you guys, I did, did not pack the brown sugar because I, I didn't want it to be too sweet. It's always nice to be able to whip your food up so it comes out a little smooth rather than chunks. This time I'm going to add a little bit of Tony Catrice. I want a little pop. I'm going to add some onion powder. I'm going to add a little bit of obey. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and take my blanched broccoli and put it inside of the bowl here. So it should still be hard and not too soft. You see how nice and pretty that color is? Next I'm going to add my cheese. My cran raisins. Next, I'm going to be adding some sliver almonds and some delicious walnuts. You guys can make this as fun as you want. I would just like to go in my refrigerator and be like, mm, what's in there that I can use? I also like to cut up my grapes. I think this probably takes maybe another 20 minute meal or you can have it on the side or you can have it for just wanting something healthy to eat at night after coming from the gym. Okay, there's that. Next, I'm going to cut up some tomatoes. I don't know if you guys know the trick or not, but I like to use my shredded knife. So the farther you are away from your object, the smaller your pieces will be. So if I go in close, that makes for a bigger chunk, you see? So I'm going to go back and give that a dice. And then I'm gonna go in. Again, this is nice for um, when you're having company over and you just want something quick during the summertime. Okay, I also, I 
enough mango. Me personally, I'm like, I could just live off of fruit. I think I need to be off somewhere on somebody's island just living off of the land. So you do want to make sure you cut the skin off of this. See how pretty that looks? Starting to come together. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add my onions. And again, this is optional, so it's up to you if you want to put onions in here. I love onions. I think they pair very, very well with sweet and some scallions. We're going to give this a good toss. And look at those colors. That's when you know you have a good, healthy salad, is when you're able to see all the different colors come together. And again, proportion, you can do however you wish to. For me, I like to kind of uh, overdo it because I like to taste the flavors of everything. Okay, now I did say something about the goat cheese. I'm going to add some goat cheese in here. The goat cheese is going to pair very, very, very well with the mango. So I'm gonna cut a little bit of that up. It's almost like a blue cheese. I'm just gonna put just a few little pieces in here, but it, it does taste good. I don't like the smell, it smells horrible, but it tastes amazing. All right. Start kind of tossing this around. I don't want to smush it because I want to be able to taste every single vegetable and fruit that's in here. All right, so it should look like that. Next, I'm going to go ahead and give this a good stir one more time. This is our dressing. And just pour a little bit over top. Not too much. You don't want to drench it and then toss it again. So there should just be a little bit at the bottom. It's almost like a slaw. And there you have it, your summer salad. Go ahead and put this just makes for a nice little healthy medley of vegetables. 